Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a Choose Your Own Adventure story using Twine. Twine is available at twinery.org. You can use it as open source software on your Windows or Mac computer. You can also use it online, which is what we'll do here. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you use Twine online at twinery.org, the stories that you create are saved in your web browser. There isn't any other online uh, account setting. So if your students are sharing computers, you'll need, need to create multiple profiles in their web browsers. Uh, you can do that using Chrome. Let's go ahead and create a new story. We'll just call this one Errands Around Town. And you can see here we now have this grid-like format for drafting our stories. We have this one passage in the center. Let's double click on it. Let's set up our story. We'll start out at home. Let's see. Today we have a few errands to run in town. We need to visit post office. And I'm going to put brackets around post office. And the reason for these brackets will be clear in just a minute. We're going to the bank. And again, I'll put brackets around the bank and the grocery store. And I'll put brackets around the grocery store. Right, and now I'll just click off the note. And you can see what happened here is everything I put in brackets had its own little sticky note created for it. Now let's go into the post office and double click on that one. And let's say at the post office we ran into Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith invited us to a barbecue on Saturday. And what has now happened is we see barbecue has its own little note. So let's go ahead and edit barbecue. And we'll just say the barbecue was fun. But I had to leave early to go and I'll put brackets around home to walk my dogs. And so now you can see we have an arrow connecting barbecue and home. We have arrows connecting post office to home and post office to barbecue. And we can do the same thing here for our bank story. At the bank we saw a robbery. We were invited to identify suspects at the police station. And so now we're going to see a note created for police station and we can go in and edit that later and likewise we can just edit our grocery store the same way. Let's double click on that. At the grocery store we picked up coffee and headed home. We'll put in brackets around home. And now we have those arrows connecting grocery store and home going both ways. So we have the beginning of our story created. Let's go ahead and play it and hit the play button at the bottom of the screen. And let's see what it looks like. So you can see we're going to go through this story kind of note by note or paragraph by paragraph. 
let's say we need to visit the post office. Today we have a few errands to run in town. We need to visit the post office. We'll click on post office. At the post office, we ran, we ran into Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith invited us to a barbecue on Saturday. The barbecue was fun, but I had to leave early to go home to walk my dogs. And when we click on the home, we're back here at the beginning of the story. And likewise, if we were to click on grocery store, we'll see in this sentence, we click on home, we go back there. And right now, if we click on the bank, we go to the police station, our story ends at the police station because we haven't edited or added anything to the police station section of our story. So that's how you can begin to create your Choose Your Own Adventure stories on Twine at twinery.org. If you want to save the story for uh, use later, you can say publish to file and download a file that you can later import into your Twinery account or your, your Twinery profile online. Let's go ahead and say use online. If we import from file, we can import that file that we just downloaded. So for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetech4teachers.com.